We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Sly Cooper in. The cold heart of hate. Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last part, we finished off the Panda King, and in this part, we're going to finish off the entire game all together by taking on Clockwork. Let's get this party started. First things first, mines. Whoa, check out all those mines. Think you can blow them away and clear a safe path for us? I'm no expert on mines, but aren't these more effective if you bury them underground? Just a thought. Although this guy does go all out to protect himself from anybody who tries to break in. This is a very stupid use of mines. Anyway, his next effort is much more awesome. Bingo! My scanners indicate the clockwork is holed up in that owl-shaped tower. First things first, we've got hostile Robo Falcon at 12 o'clock, Sly! Why does an owl have an army of robot falcons? Shouldn't they be robotic owls? Oh uh, well, suppose I shouldn't question the crazy... the crazy owl man. Lapsido Tower is a giant death ray! Why take out those rocks or we're in trouble? Or just as easily, Murray could break the- use the brakes! Use the brakes! Use the brakes! Use the brakes! He didn't use the brakes! Why didn't you use the brakes? Game over, apparently. Whatever. I'm doing the best I can, Bentley! Give me a break! Okay, hey, I actually did that time. Go me! Use this turret long enough- oh. it's up. The Use the use the turret on this thing long enough and you get way too used to the vibration in the controller. It's kind of awesome. Anyway, more mines, because apparently stationing yourself in a volcano just isn't enough. Come on, shoot him, because this is a really annoying part of the thing. Strange green rock boulder thingies, I don't get it either. Get out of here. Yeah! What are these things? And why are they? Okay, whoa, no, mine, go away. And that mine was very impervious to turn fire. And more falcons. Yes, we're getting swarmed, I'm doing the best I can. This doesn't exactly have the best targeting system, you know. There's no auto lock. Dang it all. And we're back to the third wave of Robo Falcons. Once again, I should note that when you die, you do the entire thing all over again, which is a bit unfortunate, but you get used to it. I've, I've done a lot of practices on this, and every time I die, many, many times. This is going to be a very fa fail-filled finale, to be certain. Get out of here, Robo Falcons, I ain't got time for you! No, no, are you serious? You know, Murray, I sure do. I mean, you know how much I hate to be a roof seat dri you know, driver and like, but it sure seems like this is a problem that could be easily solved by hitting the gas! Come on! Could you go at least a little bit faster than this? This is insane. No more Robo Falcons. Shooting, Sly. Looks like we're in the clear. Uh, Murray, that cave doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through. Oh. Oh. And we're down a turret. We only had it for one level, and it was awesome. You got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock. If you thought I failed a lot getting into this place... There are over 119 computers up there! These fire slugs seem intent on getting to them before us! The first one to 60 computers wins! Like I said, if you thought I failed a lot trash just getting into this place, just wait until I get my... my... get through this freaking challenge! 
No! Bad lava men! Bad! I hate these guys! I hate them so much! Why are there so many lava men? And why do they hate computers so much? How does running over computers get Bentley data? I need to know! This makes no sense! Get out of here, lava men! How do battering rams kill lava men? So many questions! Not enough time to look, give it any real thought! Too busy killing lava people! and running over computer monitors. I'm pretty sure that's not where the information is stored, but whatever. I'm not a game developer or a computerologist. Get out of here, Magma Man. Multar. Multar, why are you doing this? Get out of here. Get out of here. Need more monitors. Get out of here. Jeez. Louise. Tell me off to please or something. I don't know. I don't know the lyrics to any songs. What do you take me for? Somebody who listens to the radio? Yeesh. And that one landed on top of me. That was rather lucky. Okay, come on, Murray. We can do this. 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 Almost got it. We just got to get them all magma men. Defeat all magma men. Hate magma men. Hey, I actually did it. Nice driving, Murray. Now we have enough data to open the You better get out of there! Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you! But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help, though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there, I've done this a million times. So on the entrance level part... So on the entrance level part of this uh, section here, I lose about five times. But on the defeat the magma men and collect the computer monitor things, now that I don't fail at all, even though I normally fail it all the time. I'm genuinely curious how as, as to how this is going to go down. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. I died. Okay, I didn't die, but... Ugh, this is just getting frustrating. This is the fail-filled finale. Which is so not what I was going to go for. This was supposed to be awesome, and like, no problem whatsoever, and everyone was going to be all amazed at the Sly Koopa skills that I have developed through the course of the LP. But lo and behold, it turns out I learned absolutely nothing, and everything is just as bad as it always was. I am always fail at games, and I always will be. Hey, remember when we used that barrel that one time in that one level? Well, we're using them again, so that's always awesome. Watch out for the searchlights, or they'll burn you, just like that. Awesome possum. And we're back to barrel sneaking. And wouldn't you know it, during the part where I wasn't talking, I didn't mess up at all. And the second I start talking, I jinx everything forever. Go. Me. Seriously. This could not have been going more poorly. The, the Let's Play Gods have cursed me. Have a curse most foul. Seriously. Oh, please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. I am terrified right now. Okay, come on. Just gotta get to Carmelita. She's still shaking her fist at me. That's not the proper protocol right now. You can break everything. No more darts. I've come to save you. Sly Cooper. I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap! Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese! 
cheese-filled brains would be amazing. And prepare yourself for a mini game we've never done yet. Okay, I used the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the yellow security code. Uh-oh. Well, looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithm. Stay sharp, Bentley! I always get a kick out of how I'm always doing things as the characters themselves are explaining how to do it. It always makes me laugh. Level three! Now this part I always have trouble with, so let's just see how many times I lose during this section. Don't get hit by that red shuriken thingy, because that is instant death. If you touch the green things, now you take a little bit of your health away, but if you get touched by that red thing, you're done. There ain't no take backs. You gotta start over all from the beginning. Ah, there's still more! I thought I had them all already. Dang it! Ah! Give me the cube! Jeez! Level four! Last level! Can I complete this one section in one try, or will I end up dying in every single portion of this level? Taking on bets! Because your guess is as good as mine! I really don't know how this is going to go on it down. Okay, okay, okay. Is this what computer hacking is like in real life? I wouldn't know. Don't want to get hit. Don't want to get hit. Don't want to get hit. Yeah. 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 That was really close. Clockwork, you fiend. I know you're the last guy and you're the founding member of the Fiendish Five and the like, but seriously, why you gotta be so hard? It's insanity. Complete and total insanity. Oh, I almost got hit. Okay. Success! Victory twirl! I'm the best! No code can stand before me! Okay, that was awesome! Go me for once! Maybe the next section will go well too! Sly, I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. Seems legit! And what do you know? She actually kept her word. I'm not surprised, actually. She seems like a pretty cool person. Especially since I know where her character goes in future games, but that's not! That's neither here nor there. I don't get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Carmelita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until Clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. Ah, oh, what the heck now? How'd you not see that coming, Sly? What the hell? Nice shot. Huh, wait. I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you get it back. If you can, make your way to the top of the death ring. I stashed my jetpack there before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team at all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, maybe I'll give you a 10-second head start. Anyone else think it's weird that in the three times we met Carmelita, she wasn't able to hit me, but she was able to take down that Robo Falcon in one shot? Anyway, believe it or not, we are playing as Carmelita, and we are defending Sly, much like we defended Murray in previous parts, and I just failed catastrophically, because it just wouldn't be a section in the Clockwork Tower if I didn't die at least 13 times. Let's give it one another shot, and perhaps, just maybe, just maybe, there'll be no more fail. I can dream, can't I? Shoot all the Magma Men. I hate them so much. Magma Men die! Hate Magma Men. Why are they here? Why are they all up in my gr- Get out of here! Me? No! no okay, wow. I, okay, because I, I swore he got him there, but he didn't. I'm not complaining. Alright, time for Robo Falcons to break through the window. No! Yeah, okay? I don't feel like dealing with the stupid mag- Stupid Robo Falcons right now. I got my own problems with the Magma Men. Do not need this. Okay. Word of advice. Take out all the things ahead of it, because otherwise Sly is just going to keep stopping every few seconds, and you need to do it, and he's just going to keep getting attacked by Magma Men, so this is really for the best. Now run, Sly, run! 
I'll protect you from the magma men. Success for once. Guns came back. Rock on. Nice job, Raccoon. Thank you, Carmelita. That was awesome of you for once. Okay, now what? Where's Carmelita's jetpack? Right where she said it would be. The magnetronic support field for the death ray got destroyed as you were making a run for your cane. Of course. You'd better hurry. This whole thing is about to fall apart. I'm on it. Oh boy, I sure hope you got your chuckles in with the, all the failing in this entire episode because it's not going to go away anytime soon. In fact, I, I, I hypothesize that I'll fail more now here than anywhere else before. This whole place is sinking into the lava. We gotta hurry. Fast. Climb, slide, climb. What does it look like I'm doing, Bentley? Does it look like I'm leisurely taking my time? Seriously, do you think I enjoy lava? Raccoons and lava have a very long-stated and very well-publicized history of hate. And hey, how about brain and mouth? How about you stop failing me for one... Okay, and end of the death. Game over, of course. Okay. Gotta calm down. Getting way too all railed up about this. Although, I suppose in a, it's a, in a way, it's this is kind of good. Because now it's really, really making me hate clockwork. And really making me want to smack him upside the head with my stick. So maybe it's good that I'm constantly failing. I don't know. Oh, and the fight with clockwork. That'll be fun. Hey, I just jumped in the lava like a moron. Go me! Okay. 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 It's time for my serious mode now. Things have not been going according to plan. And that's gonna change right now. It's time to use all my skills and all my thoughts and do everything that I've learned from the Thievius Raccoonus. I must apply the skills of my ancestors and destroy all these gears and I must fight the owl person that has been persecuting them for many years. Decades upon centuries upon possible millennia of pure evil and hatred have accumulated into this confrontation and it is I who must face it. I must avenge my ancestors and make them proud. Complete the Thievius Raccoonus and fulfill my ultimate destiny. And how on earth have I managed to screw up every single line that I've said in this video so far, and yet I was able to articulate that exact frame of sentence properly, and I'm screwing up now! How on earth did that happen? Seriously, when I got all eloquent up on you people, now it's, then it gets all good, but no, now, now that I'm back to just talking at random, no, now I keep stumbling over my words and don't know what to say. Ugh. Anyway, as you can tell, this is quite the perilous climb don't care for it. It really stinks, and I'm gonna be stuck here for a very long time. I just know it. It's getting insane. No! That was the ending! That was the ending! That was the ending. I think I might be the first person in human history to have reversed jinxed myself. Seriously, what the hey now? Give me that jetpack, fool! Okay, that jetpack is easy to fly. Use the left analog stick to aim and steer, and press the square button to fire its rockets. Alright, that's not Sly! Behind you! Holy! Sly Cooper, you have saved my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. Remarkable. You Coopers always find a way to beat me. Always? So that was you in the background of all those old pictures in the previous raccoons. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting the day when I will finally eclipse your family's thieving medication. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! Clockwork is easily one of the greatest villains in video game history. I don't care what you say. As simple as simple. As even though this fight gets ridiculously epic, Kamalita's going to shoot missiles at him, and we gotta hit that weak spot whenever she opens makes an opening for us. It's teamwork that saves the day today. And might I say this fight is ridiculously epic! Shoot him in the butt! 
freaking clockwork! My intellect is with my My experience is greater. And yet you're getting your tail feathers kicked in, and I just died. Because I just mocked you, and that means I was got instant karmic retribution. Seriously, I'm trying to avenge my family line here. Oh, that's just mean. See, now you... Murder's one thing, but now you're throwing insults. I have feelings, you know. Cooper Raccoon? That's not even proper sentence structure. You sicken me, you crazy owl man. Yeah. That's probably the weirdest thing about Clockwork. He's not even anthropomorphic. He's pretty much just a straight up a cyborg. Cyborg owl. That's so weird. How can you hate somebody? How can you hate somebody and their family so much that you become a cyborg for the sole intention of hunting down and murdering every single member of their family lineage? I hope you enjoy that lava, you jerk. Nice shooting, Sly! You got him! Wow, that's one tough owl. I don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. On the Cooper line, the race and the only to be for me. Well, you're right about one thing, it is gonna end here, but you're not- I'm not the one that's gonna go down, okay? You throw as many crazy electric hula hoops at me as you want, I ain't falling. I- I am done with you. You are a jerk, and you will die. Seriously. Centuries. Possibly millennias. Of this guy. Hunting down people in one family line. That is so sick and twistedly messed up, I can't even properly describe it. Who does that? Seriously. Also, how on earth do you rob things? You're a giant robotic owl. How do you fit through doors? How did you get into Sly's house? You clearly can't fit. Did you just break the wall down? Clearly not, if that cutscene was to be believed. Seriously. Makes no dang sense. Now you hit, hit the lava, you jerk. Seriously. Why'd I ditch my freaking jetpack for this? That would have really been handy. Seriously, I need my jetpack back. Why do I need to climb? This is just silly. Ah! This is an inappropriate time to be all slow and stealthy, Sly. Kinda need to get a hitch in your giddy up, my boy. It's make or break it time. How am I dodging these lasers? Holy cow, I dodged those lasers. Holy cow, I dodged those lasers. Holy cow! Am I actually not gonna die? Holy cow, I'm not actually gonna die! Take this fiend! You will never be with me. Clockwork is superior. You're full of lies and garbage, old man! Burn in hell! It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, One. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. A damn good game, if I say so myself. I played a lot of good series. A lot of good series in my life. Sly Cooper is definitely way up there. I I don't know if I was able to properly convey just how much this game and the, and the future ones, how much those games really mean to me, but I hope I was able to, you know, at least make you somewhat aware of it. I've never been good with words, as I'm sure you've noticed, but, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, there's 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 two Asian people and the slide and a hot dog, and they're going to chase after each other, and that's, and that's how this, this whole, whole world works, you know? Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this LP. I'm going to keep doing it. I've already got my next game planned, and I hope you'll be there to see it. And... Just so you know, in case there was the slightest bit of doubt in your mind, this is far, 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 far from the last we've seen of Sly and the Gang on my channel. <laughs> oh no, there will be more, and it will be good. Uh, well, it's about rounding it up. Thanks to everyone who watched the entire series. I appreciate you like you have no clue. I wish I could name off all of you, but... I don't know them all quite yet. But thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. You guys didn't seriously think I forgot, did you? <laughs> There's no way I was going to leave you guys hanging on this. Multiple blood vessels burst in my brain while figuring this out. The code had better be 231. The game's called The Thievius Raccoonus. It just wouldn't be complete if I didn't complete the entire book, now would it? <laughs> Alright guys, here's the final page of the book. Hope you like it. Amazing! Colonel Reed Cooper's Time Stopper Technique. Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. At long last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the fiendish five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. is gonna be fun.